Okay, today we are doing a cooking video and these are our ingredients and we're going to make Mika's favourite soup. And what is it? Bacon and lentil soup. And we, she, we make this at least once a week and um, Mika normally helps me, but I said today she can do it today with a little bit of help from me. So she's going to talk you through our ingredients. So what have we got, Mika? Onion. Yeah. Potatoes. Yeah. Onion granules. Yeah. Garlic granules. Banquet. <laughs> That's a bouquet garni. You don't have to have these, but we like to add them. It's just like a little tea bag full of herbs. Um, but I will list everything properly down below. Sage, oregano, thyme, salt, and pepper. Pepper. Salt. Bacon. Celery. Carrots. Parmesan. Stock cheese. Lentils. And that is all you need for our soup. Um, as I said, I'll list the proper recipe down below. But the first thing we're going to do is peel the, peel the onion. Our celery and our carrots are already chopped. We keep them in the freezer just because celery is gross, so we only use it in soups. Um, so I will weigh these out and list them for you. But just peel your onion, yeah. get that ready. And if you haven't got celery or carrots chopped, then peel and chop those as you want. Um, and we'll show you the next bit. And what have we got now? What's this called? Um, a blender. Food processor. Yeah. Um, we, because Mika likes to eat it, but she doesn't like all the chunks of these things, and I'm not the biggest fan either. So we um, chuck the onion, the celery, and the carrots into a food processor, and then we'll blitz them until they're fine. And then we will show you what we do once that's done. We use a really nice big pot. Um, and we're going to turn it on to sort of medium low, number four, um, and we're going to put in a tablespoon of oil. Okay. Let's turn a little bit. What have you got in there? Um, carrot, celery and onion. Carrot, celery and onion. And obviously ours is frozen, so it looks a bit icy, but it's fine. Doesn't make any difference to the soup. And we're gonna pour this in the pot with the oil, aren't we? Yep. Yeah. And get it all out. And then we want a nice big pinch of salt. It's good. A bit more. Okay. Nice big pinch. It's good. Yep, yeah, chuck it in. Stir it round. And then give your spoon a bash to get it all off. And then pop the lid on. Did I take the spoon? Yep. Yeah. And we're going to let that cook for about eight minutes. What's the next job? Peel the potatoes. Yeah. You like doing this, don't you? Yeah. Let me find you a peeler. It will take forever. Yep. Right, this is how Mika peels things on her own, so she doesn't accidentally cut herself. Potato with a fork in it. And then we peel. Good job, babe. So she's going to do this. Yep. And then we're going to dice them into about oh. inch size pieces. So we've got about half a packet of bacon here. You can put in as much as you want. Like you check in some sausage as well if you wanted or some tree. So that might be nice, but we've just got bacon. Um, and we're gonna just cut off the fat because we don't want the fat in it because it doesn't go crispy. It's nice soft bacon. So we're gonna cut that and then we're gonna chop it into little pieces. <laughs> chopped up we're gonna cook it in a little pan 
Um, our veggies are looking good. Mika, what's your favourite thing about this soup? Um, it has potatoes in and I like to smush them on bread. <laughs> you do, don't you? So yummy. Our bacon is done, so we're going to turn that off. Yeah. And then that's, you know, oven glove because that's hot. Yeah. Our veggies look good and steamy. So the veggies are all nice and soft. And then we're going to put the bacon in, give that a stir. And then we're going to add our lentils. We've got our lentils going in. I'm going to give them a stir. Um, I will put all the measurements down below, but it's literally just throw in whatever you've got. There's no... Um, it won't be bad if you put in less lentils or more lentils or less bacon or no bacon. Or It is one of those soups you can literally just chuck in whatever you want. So now we're going to add our... Potatoes. Potatoes. Not a cat. We're not going to add the cat. <laughs> you bring your potatoes over? Yep. All right, add your potatoes, please, squeaky leeks. I've done this with sweet potato as well, and that's really nice. Also, give it a nice big stir. And then we're going to add our spices and our herbs. Let me just move this so you don't burn yourself. Right. One of these, please. This is the least of the bouquet garni, but again, this is just every single time we make it, it's different. So we've got garlic granules. Okay, I've got one. Yep, chuck one of them in. Done. You have to undo that one, that's a new one. Onion granules. Skills doing the one hundred time. Oh. <laughs> Oregano. What you got? Uh, sage. Sage. Lots, lots, lots. Sage tastes yummy with all of the things in here, so we do lots of sage. Good, Good. job. And then we're going to do black pepper. We have the coarsely ground black pepper, but do whatever you like, really. Um, we're going to just do it like this because the jar's a bit small to put hands in, mm -hmm. like that. And we're not going to salt it until it's cooked because you don't want to over salt it. Yeah. So we're doing that. This smells so good, doesn't it, Mika? Yeah. And then we're going to get some... Oh, well, we need our stock cube. Oh, yeah. Get your stock cube. It is for our... It's okay. That's quite good. This is a veggie stock cube, but you could use a chicken one if you wanted. I just like to keep it the veggie base just with the bacon in um, so that goes in and then we're just going to do hot water or boiling water to cover we've got our boiling water in and then we are going to turn the heat up because we want it to bubble that's not a potato that's a chip chippy chippy um yeah that is basically the soup you just have to cook it now uh, we usually do it for about 20 minutes on a bubble with the lid on and we'll show you in a bit. Right, this has been on for about 10 minutes um, and just go through and just scrape the bottom to make sure there's nothing sticking. Um, and then if you need to, you can add a little bit more water. I'm going to add a little tiny bit more to this. Our soup is done. Um, if you want to check how it's, if you know it's cooked or not, your potatoes will be cooked definitely. And you want the potatoes to break down slightly because it makes it thick. But if you just get a lentil, like give it a shake and then just get a lentil and taste it. And if the lentils are cooked, then you're done. Um, it's definitely not the prettiest soup in the world, but it is so yummy. And I will show you when we serve it what we serve it with with the parmesan you can use any cheese Miki uses we like the parmesan flakes but we haven't got them so she'll use normal parmesan and I'll just use cheddar and I will show you um at lunchtime what time is it lunchtime so Miki's got her soup 
It does thicken up. You can thin it out if you want to, but we like it thick. And then she has parmesan in hers. Mini. You mix it all up. You want some parmesan? There you go, mate. And then she, yeah, she loves it. Yeah. And I'm now having mine as well. So that is how you make the soup. Or you want to show everyone you? What you want to say? What are you eating for lunch? What are you eating for lunch, little boy? Your corn fritters? Is it delicious? Mom, 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 mom. He's eating corn fritters because he does not like soup. And Aria is eating pepperoni bagel. Pepperoni bagel. And yeah, that's our cooking video. And this is what Mika does. She gets her soup and she smushes it onto her roll. Yummers. Yummy. How happy are you? <laughs> is this your favourite food? Or is spaghetti bolognese your favourite food? Bacon and little soup. Bacon and little soup is your favourite food? Yeah. It's one of mummy's favourites as well. Ha, ha, ha.